If you've been following our videos, you'll remember just last week this happened. So, after a couple of phone calls to Unique, this arrived. So in here we have quite a few items that we're going to rebuild our platform, hopefully get it back up in the air. We have a spring clip for the legs, replacement propellers, the camera rail kit, A leg, more replacement propellers, and some clips. So in this video we're going to be replacing the leg of the Typhoon H. Uh, you need to refer to this as the Typhoon H landing gear, three-way connector and other accessories. I'm not sure what the other accessories are, uh, because in the bag you have the T-piece of the landing gear. Now this will go on both sides of the uh, Typhoon H. Um, it's uh, universal, uh, so it doesn't matter which side you've broken that you need to replace. This will uh, just do uh, both sides. Uh, you will recall that um, when I crashed my platform, I'd broken the T-piece of the platform, this piece here. Unfortunately, it only comes as uh, one piece, and this is quite an expensive piece of 44.99. That's British pounds, 44.99, uh, which I think is probably about $60 if you're in the US. A um, few people in my video have said, "Why don't you just glue it? Why don't you put a bit of epoxy on then and glue it together?" Uh, my thought on that is that you know, after all, this is an aircraft. Uh, we've got a legal obligation uh, under the CAA and FAA regulations um, to maintain your aircraft. Um, so I want it to be secure and don't want bits falling off mid-air uh, and don't want to be striking anyone. So uh, the first thing I've done is to lay a, uh, an old towel out onto the work surface just to uh, protect the surface and prevent any further damage to the platform while I'm spinning it over. It's quite a simple job. What I'm going to do is just extend a few of the, the arms just to get an easy access to the broken arm on this side. You can see that there's one screw which is a crosshead screw or Phillips screw and I'm going to lay it down to be able to remove that screw and pull the old leg out. So this is in quite tight, so just need to make sure you're pushing the screwdriver down and not rounding off the head. If you do round off the head it's going to cause you a bit of a problem and you'll need to complete, uh, replace the whole arm, uh, the whole section here which has got the sensors on internally. So this screw is a long screw, it goes right through the replacement arm fixes it in place nicely okay this replacement part does not come with uh, another screw so I'm going to use the same screw on this arm once it's all the way out Okay, so you can see there it's quite a long screw that goes right right the way through. Once removed, this will just slide out nice and easy. You can see there, and that's the, the broken end where I snapped it off the uh, leg on the rather rough landing. So you can see that it's just the plastic bit broken there. Uh, I was hoping that 
unit would just be able to send me the plastic bit and I could remove the fixings with a hex uh, screwdriver or a key and then use the, the leg uh, which is carbon fibre and save a bit of money. Unfortunately it just comes as one piece uh, so that's what I had to get. So we're going to make sure we get this the right way round. Slot the new leg into place and get the hole visible here so I can slot the screw straight through. Okay, so that appears to be lined up. And we're just going to see if this will screw in nice. Okay, so just before I put this in, I'm going to put some Loctite on it just so that it doesn't work itself free with any of the vibrations. The thing with Loctite is that you just need a little bit on the, on the thread and then when you screw it in it goes around all the thread and will lock into place. So you only need a, a little place, piece, don't over overdo it with a Loctite and then just screw it in nicely. We're just going to screw it in all the way home, making sure we don't over tighten it so to round the head off, make sure it's in firm and that's it. Okay. So now that that's in place, we're going to remove the old foam pieces from the, the old leg and they just slide on, they don't get glued on or anything. Maybe something that you want to check every now and then before taking your aircraft off to make sure that they haven't worked loose. And that's it. That's the replacement leg in place. Hope you've enjoyed watching that video and uh, you can see how easy it is to actually repair yourself without sending it back to Unique. Uh, keep watching my further videos for further hints and tips on other repairs.